Dallas High School, an institution of hope and inspiration for the sub. Tuelas is a school filled with pride for sports and students. I'm Mikey Shalak, and this is the history of Dallas High School. As the years go on, how has the atmosphere and attitude of the students changed? In all honesty, um, in some ways a lot better, and in some ways not so good. Um, the respect factor, I think that you find it all through the country, is, uh, is not prevalent today like it was years back. But, uh, you know, kids are kids wherever you go, so I kind of accept that as a, as a teacher. Well, as far as the students go, I refer to the group that's here now as the T-ball generation. You keep playing, you don't necessarily have to beat anybody or really compete. You get rewarded, whatever happens. And as a result, um, students don't want to be held accountable. And they don't want to be um, self-motivated at all. So it becomes difficult to motivate them. Um, really hasn't. Still the same. Still the same. Is there as much academic integrity today as there was in previous years? No. Um, I think it's too easy to get access to cheating. I think, I think um, it's harder to detect that people are cheating. Like I used to just have to look for a notebook being open for eyes wandering and now like people take pictures of things and give them to the students. So the, you have to collect the phones and put them away. Like th these are issues that I guess it's just part of. It used to be kids passing notes, now they're texting each other. So that's kind of the same. Yeah. It's just a little difficult to yeah. catch them. I would say there's even more more integrity because you guys have to uh, move to a higher standard. I guess there is when it comes down to it. You have. Um, um, more things you have to know and more things you have to know by a certain grade level that wasn't here maybe 10 years ago. So the education is the same. Dallas has always been on the cutting edge of being able to give you that um, education no matter whether we had standards or we didn't have standards. But at the same time, I think you do have, um, at this particular point, I think you're more under the gun to uh, learn more stuff in a shorter period of time. What are some of Dallas's traditions throughout the years? Traditions throughout the years. Dallas traditions? <clears throat> uh. You got me, like for sports or for academics? Actually, I'm not really the right person to ask for this, but uh, you know we have the homecoming for football. We have the typical high school dances that that occur. Um, as far as traditions, uh, nothing can beat the rivalry between uh, Dallas School District and Lake Lehman School District. How sports influences school pride and helps students be involved in co-curricular activities? Academics. I would say, say the academics by far holds heads and above all our sports. Now, we, of course, we've had wonderful sports teams, uh, cross country, football, wrestling, uh, basket, basketball, we've, we've suffered. That's one thing that's suffered yeah, for whatever reason. Um, girls sports have really uh, become at the top of the list, too. Our girls have done well. Uh, the, that recent win, cross country. Yes, yes, and if that's not oh. the only one, there's it's been there's been several of them in the last five years with our boys and girls with cross country. Well, it's like anywhere else. It's even if you were into college teams or you're into pro teams, it's a way of pulling people together for a common goal. I think it's hard to do that for academics sometimes, uh, and I think it gives you a link to everybody else otherwise you're just a bunch of people attending the same place to get an education there's nothing wrong with that but I think sports sometimes and even activities whether it's yearbook um, or it's uh, uh, some of the clubs that exist whether it's FBLA or student council and things like that I think it's a way to pull people in and there's a socialization meaning 
you get to know people on another level that you don't get to know them in education. Our wrestling team has has uh, has improved terrifically over over the last five years. Uh, I've seen it when we've been very down and and at the top of the list. Well, in the old days, um, sports certainly did bring people together, um, whether it be football or field hockey or soccer or whatever. The kids were more supportive of each other. Um, I think a lot of it had to do with the older building. There was a sense of community. Um, I don't see that now. Um, the band used to be very supportive of football, and um, the band seemed to be playing for the team. It was to get team spirit going. Now everybody's off doing their own thing, and I don't think there's as much community spirit as there used to be. As the school gets older and more distinguished, how has the academic performance changed? Uh, it's pretty much, in my opinion, my humble opinion, I think it's kind of stayed the same. Uh, maybe a little better in certain areas. We certainly have some uh, terrific teachers here. Um, I'm, I'm comparing it now, you know, over 40 years, so that's a long time. I came here in 72, right after the flood. I believe it has, and I believe it's because of that that T-ball mentality, what I call T-ball mentality. Another one here. Um, but you always have kids who will do well no matter what. Yeah. You always have those kids. Mm -hmm. What what specific areas are you referring to? In 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 disciplines. Yeah. Uh, the sciences. I, I think, uh, of course, me being prejudiced towards science and math, I think are. Uh, our sciences have um, have improved tremendously when I think of uh, some of the bygone teachers that we had uh, compared to today. Much better today. Uh, the site, uh, uh, a few examples, uh, Mr. Fredericks, um, Ms. Cozio, uh, Ms. Ms. Myers, uh, they come to my mind right off the top, Mr. West. Do you think the school has maintained a certain identity throughout its existence? I think I think it did. We were always known for excellence, and sometimes I'm afraid now that we're um, we're riding a little bit. We're pushing by that identity, and I don't know if we're striving to to get better. To hit that mark. Yeah. Absolutely, it's one of the best school districts. There are three school districts that people. Uh, are uh, come, I would say Dallas is, is a magnet for uh, many, many of the upper middle class, upper class, um, two other school districts would be Abington Heights and Crestwood, and Dallas is right up there with them, if not at the top. You know. The strong suit here are the kids themselves, because we come from a community where most kids Fairly, do fairly well, and they are interested in um, reading or going on to college. So they're they don't have as many. I don't want to say they don't have as many problems because everybody has problems. But some of the challenges that they have are easier to overcome than the challenges of say um, somebody in a, in a bigger school population with more socioeconomic diversity. Yeah. yeah. Diversity. Yeah. Did the transition to the new school change this identity at all? Well, when I first started here, if I asked a student to tell me the words to the alma mater, they all knew it. Do you? Um, no, except that the building is vast, it's so big. I think it overwhelms everyone, everyone, including the staff, teachers, um, which exercise-wise, I think it's excellent for people to go up and down steps all the time. It's good exercise. And, uh, you know, some of the very people who need to be going up and down the steps don't. <laughs> That's just my take from what I can see. Do you think everybody here knows the alma mater? I don't know where things changed or what's missing but something's missing, and my kids knew that alma mater, my personal kids knew this. And I think this building will eventually take on a personality of its own, 
but it's hard having been in the old building for some 28, 29, 30 years. It's tough being in that building and then moving to a new building. It's like moving to a new house. It's nice to be in a new house, but yet you have memories even when as a child um, growing up in your own household. There's just certain memories. It may not have been the greatest place to live, but uh, you at least had memories that last a lifetime. Too big. Um, we're too separate. Yeah. We're too separate. Describe Dallas High School in one sentence. Hmm. I, I can't do that. Um, I love Dallas. I love that my kids went here. Um, but to describe it in one sentence, I would have to say um, attempting academic excellence and the biggest rumor mill in the back. The school is, is very unique, very distinctive, and it, it was a merger uh, back in the 60s uh, four distinctive townships. You had Kingston Township, you had Franklin Township, you had uh, um, Center Moreland town, Center Moreland area, part of that, and um, Dallas Township. They all merged into one school. And this this is the school. It had many names. There were many wars over what colors the school were to use, and uh, that's an interesting story in itself. Um, a good place to get an education. A very good place to get an education. And uh, I've told kids for years and years and years, I graduated from here, I know the system works, I know the formula works, I know the strategy works. I just think it's a, a really good place to get an education. Uh, it's a really nice community, there's nice kids. Um, I guess that's more than a sentence. But. What do you think about Dallas High School? Oh, it's a, it's a great place. All right, go, 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 awesome. go, go. <laughs> what do you think about Dallas High School? Oh, it's just the greatest place on earth. What do you think about Dallas High School? What do you think about Dallas High School? Awesome. I need your five cents, seriously. Okay, no, what do you think about Dallas High School? You can't escape. <laughs> Lindsay, I need yo, yo, your five yo, cents. Yo, yo, yo. What are you doing? Movie star. What's your favorite thing about Dallas High School? Um, what do you think about Dallas High School? Oh. What do you think about Dallas High School? It's nice. Okay. It's fun. What do you think about What do you think about Dallas High School? How's your day going? Great. How, what, what do you love most about Dallas High School? Hmm. There's so many things I cut. <laughs> I'm definitely not asking you. Oh, Keisha, I need your five cents on something. Can I can I get your five cents on something? Can I get some like anybody? 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 Does anyone want to be a movie star? Christina, I need you. I need you for 30 seconds. Hey. What do you think about Dallas High School? Alright, awesome. Yo, Plank. Yeah. What do you think about Dallas High School? Uh, just peachy, just peachy. What's, what's Dallas High School like? Ben, what do you think about Dal uh, yes. what do you think about Dallas High School? Edit that out. Edit that out. Like Edit that out. You're, no, I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about Dallas High School, Jordan? It's pretty awful. What? Great. Um, um, um. Mr. Salmon, what do you think about Dallas High School? I love Dallas High School. I love everybody in it. I love me most of all. Nice.